Hey, it's Don the Arch Professor. Uh, today I'm just going to do a real quick one here about vintage photographs in general. Now, I've talked about photos all the time. I buy photos and I get them from all kinds of different sources. I buy them in bulk. I buy them at estate sales, flea markets, auctions, wherever I can get them. My pickers will supply them to me all the time. I've pulled out ones from years of doing this and some better ones. And um, I, I do keep some photos too. But I'm going to show you just some neat images here and uh, just talk a little bit about them. We're going to do some close-ups here, basically. I'm just going to go into those and show you some ideas and things you can look for. Um, and again, I'm, I've got some China examples. I've got some vintage cars and transportation. That's what I pretty much zoom in on when I do this. There's many other areas of photos to look into, so you know, I'm just giving you some ballpark ideas and some things that I personally look for. You can do a comp search and just type in vintage photograph and things on eBay and look through the solds and it'll give you some better ideas too. Again, same thing that sells in real picture postcards and that sells in stereo views and sells in CD views, tintypes, sell in photographic uh, images as well. Transportation related, military related, um, interesting scenes, famous people, that all sells, even candid photos like that. There's many other areas, real street scenes and things like that sell, downtown images, China and, and such forth, but they all sell very well. So we're going to go over to the screen and I'm going to show you some uh, very specific photos here out of my collection and things that eventually get sold after I'm finished with them. But here we go. Okay, so as I said, I, I buy photos all the time, and there's many different subjects you can look for. Um, stuff like this. This is a double image. This is a military soldier. There's cars in the background. There's sign in the background. He's riding a Harley. This is like one of those ones you get from a bunch of family photos. Something like this you're looking at, you know, 15, 20 bucks probably on something like that. Here's another example of an interesting image. Now, anything that has these um, designer plate covers, like uh, this one here for Ohio Caverns, or that shows the license plate and it's very good. This guy shot a rabbit from, from his car. That's why this one's worth something. This is an interesting photo. Again, 15, 20 bucks on something like this. Stuff like this, city scenes, cars, people hanging out, doing activities. This is another one, 10, 15 bucks on that one, I would guess. Other ones, even if they're like sepa like this, this is a nice early, uh, you know, downtown image. You've got early style cars that sell as well too, like this one here. Again, more military uh, images here. Uh, men in a convertible military uh, vehicle. Uh, early cars, again, like this one here. Now this is a real early car, you know, circa 1905, 1906, somewhere in that range. This is really one of the first early cars. It's in a downtown street. Uh, it's just a good image all around. So photos in general, these ones I just show you, 10, 15 bucks is probably what I would expect to get out of them in that range. They may take a little while to sell, but again, they are going to sell. Other ones that we look for are city scenes like this when you know the city. You've got loading trucks. You've got the company name. This one I could track down. I do know where it's at. Another one like this one here. This one has the owner's name written on the back. And that license plate I can look up. It's visible in the image. The car type is known. Again, another one here. License plate, flags, really interesting comments. All of these are like, you know, 8, 10, 15 buck photos. Another one, a street image. You can track this down. That's Queen City. This is from Meridian, Mississippi. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to find some of these here. I mean, some of them even mark Meridian on the back. Wherever you're at, that's what you're looking for. This is a killer image here. This is something that I could probably make a postcard out of and sell it in the city. I know the building on the left. I know where this is at. I've been on this street. Um, stuff like this is going to sell. This is an example of one that's circa 1905, 1910 photo that I could use. The copyright on this is more than assuredly dead on this one here. But this is just a couple more examples. Again, you know, something like this one right here, I might get 20, 30 bucks out of this photo right here. Other examples are like this one. Like this one here, this is a school bus made out of wood from Mississippi. Um, 1910, 1915, uh, 20 bucks on this one I would probably put. Interesting car images in the snow. You can make out the license plate. Nice early image, you know, five, 10 bucks. Multiple cars, multiple license plates, you know, 15, 20 bucks, cute kids, interesting shot, very interesting, something somebody could use for a book illustration or, you know, publish it as a postcard even. Again, early photos. This is another one of those sepa tones. Now, you can digitally get the uh, the reflection out, put a piece of glass and the whole works on it. So it's a little hard to show this way, but there are ways to photograph this very nicely. Um, just like this one here. Here's a real nice sh uh, shot of a car, side view, plate. You can still make out, hood ornament, the whole works. Again, 10, 15 bucks. 
8 10 bucks on this one. Nice early street scene. Nice early car. Expensive one, too, at that. Here's another good example. This one's got gas pumps with the glass uh, globe tops. Really good shot here. Um, something like this, again, this might be 20 30 bucks on something like this. Even little photos like this one here. It's got a Coke truck in the back. Military vehicle. You know, 15 20 bucks again. Here's another interesting one. Delivery trucks for Armor Ham. Now, I know where this was taken. I know the car, and I even can name some of the people. Interesting street shot. I've actually redone this as a piece of artwork for myself. So that's another good example. Uh, another one. Another delivery truck seat street scene. Um, interesting shot. You know, 15 20 bucks minimum. Here's President Coolidge. This was taken randomly at some place he was at here in Ohio um, in 1931. So, and that's his wife there. This is a real candid photo of a president. This is like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, another interesting shot here. This guy made his car look like a train. Again, 50 bucks at least, I would say, on this one here. It's such an interesting item. It still runs, it looks like. It looks like it's an old car. He's literally uh, changed himself. He might be a, a train conductor or something along that line. Again, another one here. This is a nice vintage uh, glass globe uh, pump again. Nice image. 1932 dated, you know, 20 bucks possibly on that one here. Here's the uh, 1933 World's Fair under construction, just loaded with cars. You can see World's Fair under construction, Chicago. It's dated. This is a good one. This is something someone might put in a book. 15, 20 bucks. Um, here's another interesting one. This, on this one here, you can easily make out the plate number. You can track down who owned this car still to this day. Cute girls on it. This is an interesting one, 10, 15 bucks. Um, that just gives you an idea on what sells in these. Still yet other ones are like something like this. Um, nice, interesting shot. This is from Detroit. You can see the plate. Again, eight, ten bucks. Eight, ten bucks on something like this. Even stuff like this, you can tell exactly where this was taken by that sign and that arch in the photo. So this is another good one here, too. Again, most of these photos I'd least expect eight bucks out of. This is a, a trolley stop in uh, Detroit. This is another good one, 1910, 1915. You know, 15, 20 bucks. Another gas station one. You can see Dixie oil behind them. Another pump. Even this small photo, not in the best condition, 8, 10 bucks. Here's a real nice one. This is from a small Texas town. He's written on the back where it's from. Uh, gas stations, Texaco. It's a small town at the time. It's not anymore. This is like a 40 or $50 photo. Here's another interesting shot. Again, I know where these were taken at. Some people write the information on the back. Uh, it's a nice, early, oddball image, angled shot of cars. Again, this might be a 10 bucks again. Here are still some other ones. Now, none of these are real picture postcards. These are just real photos. This is something that you can uh, check down and find. Somebody wrote, this is from Fremont. I know that place it was taken. Again, 10, 15 bucks. This is a major strike that there was riots at in Detroit at the uh, Dodge plant. There's a deputy sheriff marked in there. I've got a bunch from the same one. These are scabs coming in to take these guys' job. These are key photos, something like this, 15, 20 bucks each in the context that uh, 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 they were taken in. Here's another one, Akron, downtown, 1942. Again, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Greenfield Village, outside of Detroit, Ford's Museum, 1933, cars loaded, early image, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Another Akron shot, downtown, you can key tell where these are, 10, 15 bucks again. And as I say, cars always sell. Like, here's a real nice car, the guy must have just got it, it's an odd spot, looks like he got it from the train. Again, 10, 15 bucks. And, and another early image, 5, 10, 15 bucks. This one here is very interesting. This is the 4th Marine Division post office in Saipan, Mariana Islands. You know, this is probably a $50, $60 uh, photo here. I'll show you a couple more military. This one's pulled out of a book from D-Day. This is a glider from D-Day Invasion. Um, this is a key photo. This is something really nice. This one here will probably sell for $15, 20 bucks. even this type of image not being that great, just because of that. Let's show you some more. World War I, this is a German um, a combat airplane. This was taken from a pilot's gun camera during World War I. This is during a dogfight. I've got many of the same image from this gun camera. So, you know, stuff like this sells all the time, too. 
soldiers, as I said, early soldiers, 1800 soldiers. The mustaches give it away. You can see he's, uh, his emblem on the sleeve. He's definitely a U.S. soldier. These are early images here. Here's another one. This is a government clipper landing in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Really interesting photo. Again, they're worth some money. Captured equipment. This is a German uh, 210 millimeter cannon. Uh, really nice image here too. So I mean anything can sell in these photos. Here is a very interesting one. This is MacArthur is standing right there as General MacArthur and that is the leading uh, Japanese officer in charge of their entire military surrendering. This was taken at the surrender. And I've got several photos from this. This is 15, 20 bucks minimum even in this condition with the crease. I mean because that is MacArthur. The person who took this was actually standing at this spot. He is wounded. Uh, it's literally the, the leading general who signed the the peace agreement with the US government so anyway here's another interesting one that is the Emperor of Japan standing right there at a temple or shrine dedication there's writing in Japanese on the back I've actually shown this to my uh, Japanese history teacher when we took Japanese history um, so I do know some information about this. That is definitely who that is. No doubt, 100%. Uh, again, this is 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks or more on that one. Here's even another interesting one. This is a uh, circa 1910-15 air show. You can do some close-ups. You can really see the planes, see what they are, the whole works. I've got some information on this one, too. Again, 20, 30 bucks on that one. And again, I talk about transportation, steamships, all that stuff sells too. I just grabbed some random ones. This is an airport shot, 10, 15 bucks. I saved the best two for last, and I talk about China every time I talk about photos or images. This is what a $400 China shot looks like. This photo is probably going to go for at least $400. This is from a world cruise from 1926, downtown Hong Kong. This is the type of image you are looking for. This is the key. I saved the best for last. I take every one of these I can get. Um, travel uh, books sell the best these photos out of the like the travel cruise ship lines and stuff and again 1926 this one is fully loaded it is everything you want to look for in a China shot now I've got Japanese ones from the same era uh, similar styles but the China ones are the ones you want I'm just gonna show you one more I've got a bunch of these well, and this one's another key expensive you know three four five six hundred dollars on this one here because of all the signs the shops you can tell what street this is on on top of it this is Shanghai but that's what I got for you here these scenes sell because of what's in it the signs the people the atmosphere the whole work well there you go that's just some uh, ideas on photographs, some really interesting images, some ones that I've personally found, some rare images, some ones of famous people and such forth, but hopefully that gives you some ideas and some, some uh, more information on what to look for when you get these photos and what kind of photos to look for in general at auctions and places you go. But again, Don the Auction Professor, please hit the like button down below if you enjoyed the video. You can also hit the bell icon up top to be notified when I post new videos. Subscribe and tell a friend.